Here we are back at Bush Stadium. Fourth inning begins. Buckos trailing 2 0. We're pleased to be joined by a very happy parent, set of parents to Stephen Brault, Father Dan, Mom Amy. You guys pulled this together, Amy. Within the last couple days, 17 people here all made their way from Southern California. How to describe this entire night, including your son's first big league hit and his first plate appearance? Awesome. I just can't believe it. It's amazing. And we're so excited. <laughs> what was your reaction when you got the call that he was going to the big leagues? Well, we had a, a family reunion that day with 60 people in our backyard, and it was winding down, and we had about 15 left, and he called, and they all got to hear it on the speakerphone, and we all just clapped and cheered, and we're so excited, and then just said, where do we have to be and when, and <laughs> we'll get there. Amazing stuff as we talked to Dad. What was the, uh, what was the flight like, and uh, how much were you guys floating once you found out? Oh, it's been crazy. It's been a crazy 48 hours. Uh, the flight, actually, flights out here were good. We didn't have any trouble, but we had a lot of fun getting everybody from Minnesota and Arkansas, uh, Illinois. We got people from all over the country here. So your son was a player to be named later in a trade from the Baltimore Orioles involving Travis Snyder. How did your son, what qualities does he exhibit that allowed him to vault his way through the system so quickly from single A here to the big leagues in less than two seasons? Well, yeah, yeah, he's really focused on it. He's had a little bit of a chip on his shoulder since high school when none of the scouts even talked to him. And so I think that's one of the things that's been driving him is that I'm going to show those guys what they missed out on. Good stuff from him. Now, Mom, I'm going to have you tell this story. If you haven't noticed on the camera, Stephen Brawl tonight is actually wearing Jeff Locke's glove. Mom, do you want to explain why? You know, I just heard that myself, that he left his glove in Indy. So I, how did that happen? I have no idea. <laughs> Was he maybe too excited, just forgot to bring his glove with him? Possibly. That could be it. And he didn't uh, know what to pack, and I guess he just forgot that one very important thing. <laughs> so everybody that's wondering, that's the reason why, because he forgot it. Now, uh, Joe Block, our play-by-play -play guy, I was discussing earlier why he went to Regis University and one of the main reasons uh, was the ability to hit and he proven that he's a good hitter. What kind of athlete is he all around? Oh, he's a great athlete all around. He was, you know, a football player, basketball player as a kid doing all those things, played soccer. But, you know, baseball was obviously his, his, his first love and he's always been a hitter. Always been a better hitter than a pitcher. He wasn't a pitcher until his junior year of college. That must say a lot about his athletic ability. Now, last thing is his inclination uh, for music. What kind of talents does he have with the microphone? He is a great singer. He went to Regis because he could do music and baseball. It wasn't just that he could hit in baseball, because they would do let him do music and baseball. And nobody else would let him do that. So that was the driving force behind the Regis decision. Now, that's some incredible stuff. There's your full Stephen Brault bio right there, Joe and Bob. How about that? I love it, Robbie. Thanks. Yeah.